meteorologist, Eric Weglars. All right, we're going to keep talking about it. That cold weather is not going anywhere yeah, anytime I to, soon. Had to break out the multiple layers this morning, yeah. the gloves. I, I tried to go skiing yesterday and just really? said, you know, it's too windy, it's too cold. You're Got brave. a season pass another day. It was windy. I did half a run. I said, ah, <laughs> no. Were you an ice cube on the way down? Did it was you? very cold. Okay. Yeah, figures. Okay, same thing today, though, yeah. for a lot of us. But the temperature so. goes up a smidge, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smidge? It'll climb That's out good. of the, the single digits for a lot of us this morning. So you're probably seeing the temperature right now, maybe cringing a little bit. Don't worry, we're going to be climbing into the teens later on this afternoon. So a lot better than it was yesterday, a lot better than it is this morning. One in Burlington, five below Middlebury, 10 below in Lebanon. And you factor in, I mean, the slightest of wind. I mean, it's almost calm at this point, but it still makes it that much more brutal. 17 below in Montpelier, well close to zero for a lot of us this morning, even 11 below in Messina. So you get the idea, very cold this morning, but Things will be improving as we head through the afternoon hours. Storm Tracker is getting things dry right now, and high pressure is cemented over us. You see not a whole lot going on here. The only major storm is towards our south, and it'll continue to glide towards the east as the next couple of days go on. So I think the only result we get is a few clouds out of the deal as we go through tomorrow afternoon. The plan for today has temperatures climbing into the lower teens in the Champlain Valley. Plenty of sunshine, though, so I think that the day finishes off on a higher note than where we start this morning and the wind chills will actually begin to let up too as we go through this evening. So the winds begin to slacken up tonight. I think that wind chill values will essentially become non-existent as we go through tomorrow morning. This is just more of the air temperature close to zero for many of us through tomorrow morning. So we'll time out the afternoon here on Futurecast showing you plenty of sunshine today. A few clouds mixed in later on this evening and tonight. Well, less clouds. Temperatures will fall off a few clouds tomorrow morning towards our south, but those let up pretty quickly and it's more sunshine tomorrow afternoon. So I think a nice couple of days going forward here. If you want to go skiing, I think tomorrow's the better of the two ski days going forward here. The middle and upper teens for much of, we'll call it the Champlain Valley in southwestern Vermont, 15 in Middlebury, 10 though in Saranac Lake, only nine in Montpelier. That's round one of cold this weekend. Round two of cold is next week. Another dome of high pressure begins to sweep in here. So very frigid again, a few snow showers hours late Wednesday, early Thursday. Highs on Thursday are in the teens and with the wind chills, it'll feel at or below zero for a good chunk of Thursday and as we head into Friday as well. So enjoy the warmer weather while it lasts today, tomorrow, plenty of sun highs in the lower and middle teens for many of us. We go to the 20s on Monday, sun and clouds later on. Then we can turn more cloudy on Tuesday. We'll come close to 30. We'll hit the freezing mark on Wednesday. Snow showers and a few squalls expected later on in the evening hours. And then there's that cold blast. We go to the middle teens on Thursday. Very cold wind chills at or below zero for a good chunk of us before we climb back into the 20s for the second half of next week. I do want to note there is the potential for a coastal storm later next weekend. We are ironing out those details. Some models are saying, hey, there's a chance. So we'll be keeping a close eye on this. We'll have more details over the next couple of days.